Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects quick tip scripting tutorial. In this super quick tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to create each layer type inside of After Effects with a script. Once you run this script, you'll automatically be able to create a shape layer, a solid layer, a null layer, a text layer, and a solid layer, and a camera layer, all with a few lines of code. But before we get started, I want to remind you to make sure you hit the subscribe and bell icon down below to be notified of when new videos are coming out. And down in the description, you can check out the GitHub link for the code for this if you want to download it and check it out yourself. And you can also follow us on Instagram down there as well. And if you want external help outside of these videos, you can also join the Discord server where you can get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. So what we're going to do is basically create a script that looks at an open composition and we're going to take a look using the guide of how to create each of these layer types. So we'll create a new JavaScript file and zoom in a little bit. First thing we need is a variable for an open composition. We'll just say uh, app.project.activeItem. So as long as we have an item selected here, that's our active item and it's a composition. Now we're going to go to the Adobe After Effects scripting guide and do a control F or command F search for any of the following like add solid or add text and this will bring you to the section which defines how we can add any of these elements. So because we're going to be creating a whole bunch of layers and we want to be able to easily control Z and undo everything, we're going to surround everything in a begin and end undo group. So what we can do is say app.begin undo group and give it a name like create layer types and then app.end undo group and anything we put within here we can hit control Z and undo it with one click. So let's go ahead and create a couple of variables. Uh, the first one called null layer, the next one called solid layer, then we'll have a text layer, camera layer, a light layer, and a shape layer. We're going to be creating each one of these types now. So creating a null layer is super easy. We're going to set our null layer variable equal to our composition we have set up, the layers inside of it. We need to refer to a composition and then the layer stack we want to tell it to add a null to our layers. So we're going to say dot add null and the only argument for adding a null object is to give it a duration. So what I'm going to do is just say comp dot duration. You could give it say 10, 20 seconds if you wanted to set a custom duration or link it to a variable, but I want to ha have it be the same length as our composition, so I'm just going to use the duration from that comp. And of course, for each of these layer creations, it's going to return an AV layer object, which is basically a layer that we can manipulate inside of scripting. So now this null layer variable corresponds to our null layer in our composition. Now let's go ahead and add a solid, which contains probably the most arguments out of any of the layer types. We're gonna do the same thing where we reference a comp and the layer stack, and we're gonna add a solid. The first argument in any solid is an RGB array of obviously the R, G, and B. So you need three numbers ranging from zero to one instead of the standard zero to 255 system. So if you wanted black, you could put zero, zero, zero. If you wanted gray, you could put 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And if you wanted white, you could put 1, 1, 1, and anything in between based on that range. Then we need to give the layer a name. So I'll just say solid layer, give it a string for the second argument. The third argument is going to be the width. You can define it to be whatever you want, or you can adopt the width and height from the composition it's going to be contained in, which I more commonly do. Then we need the height as well. And I'll turn on word wrap there. And then the pixel aspect ratio, usually you just want to set to one. You can also reference this from other footage or compositions if you want. And lastly, we also need the duration like we did with the null. So instead of defining a custom seconds, like 10 seconds, I'm just going to say our comp duration. Next up, we'll move on to creating a text layer, which like a null layer is very simple and requires one argument. So we'll say our text layer is equal to comp layers. We're going to add a, a text layer. And all we need to give it is the source text. You don't even actually have to give it anything and it will create an empty text object. But if you want it to already pre-contain some text, you can go ahead and just type in uh, whatever text you want. And whenever you create a text layer like this, it will use the last used settings in After Effects. So basically for me, that would be all of these character settings here. It will use the same font, styling, stroke, fill, and everything else. 
Next up, we can add a camera layer, which is oftentimes very overlooked and useful. We'll say comp.layers.add camera. And you're probably starting to get the gist that basically the method to add layers is always the same composition, the layers stack, and then add whatever the item is. And then of course, the amount of arguments varies quite a bit sometimes, but it's generally pretty easy to get the hold of. For the camera, we need to give it a name and the center point of focus. For the name, I'll just give it, say, camera. And the default, and thus the one we're going to give it, uh, center point is going to be half the comp's width and half the comp's height. So what I can say is comp.width divided by 2 and comp.height divided by 2, which in a 1080 comp will give me something like, what, 960 by 540. And if we want to be a little bit more syntactically fast, uh, division is a little bit slower than multiplication. So instead of dividing this by 2, the same operation would be to multiply by 0.5, which in this example isn't going to really make a difference, but in a larger operation it could. Now we're going to go ahead and add a light layer. Same concept, comp.layers.add light. Now the same thing for a light as a camera, we need to give it a name and a center point. So I'm just going to take the same code from our camera and change the name to like my light and then the center point will be the same as the center of the comp. And lastly, we can add a shape, which requires no arguments. So we can say comp.layers.addShape, and this will create an empty shape layer, which we can then go in later and populate uh, with different vector groups and things like that. So now if everything's working, we should get these one, two, three, four, five, six layers generated for us. Let's go ahead and make sure we have a composition, and I'm just gonna make this 1080p really quick and run the script. And now you can see we're gonna get our five layer types. We have our shape, our light, our camera, our text, our solid, and our null. And if we want, we can easily hit Control Z or undo to undo or create layer types and go in and tweak the settings or just generate them again. And that's gonna do it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip tutorial on how to make all the layer types quickly in After Effects. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button, hit subscribe down below, and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. In the description, you can check out the GitHub link for this code to try it out yourself and learn. You can also down in the description, follow us on Instagram to be notified of new videos when they're uploaded. And make sure you check out the Discord where we have over 75 members now talking about scripting, extensions, plugins, and expressions. And lastly, if you'd like to donate crypto, the donation addresses are in the description for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and basic attention token. Thanks again for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one.